Creation. New Beginnings. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to come talk to y'all while I get ready. Uh, I know I'm not the only person that when the maintenance man say they on the way, <laughs> you start getting ready. I know I'm not the only person that remembers that book back in the day that we read. Y'all remember that book, The Maintenance Man? So, it ever since I read that book, when I know The Maintenance Man, when, he, when I get that message, I'm on my way, or when I get that phone call, they say, I'm headed your way, I start getting ready because I don't know exactly what The Maintenance Man coming to do. Like, I know what he tell me he coming to do. I know that, you know what I'm saying? I know what he putting on the paperwork. But, you know, I read that book and, uh, you know, if he want to, you know, if he want to have a, a a wonderful day, you know what I'm saying? He might he might want to do something extra, you know what I'm saying? He might want to be a real good magnet thing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I know I'm not the only person. So, you guys, y'all know I don't know anything about makeup, right? But. You know what I am finna do? I'm finna pretend like I do. And I'm finna uh make my eyes look like something. And first of all, yeah, I know my body is shaking like a mug. And you know my body it automatically shake from the MS. But when I know the maintenance man on his way, let me tell you something. All the maintenance men or you know what I'm saying? We got four maintenance men. And let me tell you, honey, they are all something to look at, you know. But one of them, he married, so I can't look too hard at him, you know what I'm saying? But he's still, you know, he's he's nice looking, you know, but I don't look at him at that level because y'all know I don't like married men or whatever. So, y'all know I can't see. So, I'm just going to go by what I can feel. I know it's an hour right here. So, put some eyeliner. Okay, listen. The Magnus men, when they come, I do enjoy talking to them because y'all know I'm a talker. And, uh, you know, I want to make sure I smell good. And, uh, you know, so. You know, he a man. He been working all day and. You know, he just, he want to smell something fresh, something, you know, something, you know, to make his day, you know what I'm saying? So when they come, I always ask, you know, ask them how they day going and, you know, all that kind of stuff and ask about their family, like if they, if they have kids or whatever. Or if they married or whatever, I ask about they, they spouse or, first of all, yeah, y'all know I can't see. So I'm putting this all over my eyelashes. I know I'm not putting it in the right spot because I can't see. So I'm just going by what I feel, what I feel. <laughs> um, And see, this was the eyeliner that I aligned my eyes with. And then I put some eyelash primer on, and then I got the uh black eyeliner. Let me tell you something. I probably like a whole clown when they come over here. Cause like I said, I, I can't see, but I just be putting the stuff on, just going by what I feel or whatever. Because I can't see exactly where I'm putting it. I'm just putting it on there because I know, I know where my eye at. You know what I mean? See, I would attempt to put some lashes on, because y'all know I can't put no lashes on. You know I always glue my eyes shut, and I, I, I was going to attempt to put some on, but I don't want my eye to be shut. You know, just in case something go down, you know what I'm saying? I got to be able to see. <laughs> so, I don't want my eye glue shut.
Okay, so it was cold this morning. It was in the fifties, but right now it's uh it's in the seventies, y'all. Yes, I'm in Texas and we have crazy weather. It it it's supposed to um you know it's supposed to be winter time, but Texas don't know what y'all I'm trying to close this and it would not close. Am I trying to close it the wrong way? Uh no, that's not right. Um, but yeah, so y'all, why is this not closing? I need this to close. Why is it not closing? Yeah, I'm not tripping. Look, look at this. This to close it, right? That's how you close it. That part is not. No, this part right here is open, and that's why I'm trying to uh put this in. I'm trying to stick it in the hole. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> no, but for real, y'all, I can't get it to go in this hole. It's not going in there. And it keep, yeah, look at this. Look, I'm trying to, look, I'm putting it on there, right? And when I try to close it, it popped back up. But I don't know. I want to close it because I really do like this. Um, eyeliner, but I, I can't see. I don't understand why it's not closing. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Now I'm gonna put some some black on my eyelashes because everybody always fussing at me about wearing lashes. They like your eyelashes long there. You don't need no fake eyelashes. Blah 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 blah. So. I'm just going to put some uh, black mascara on. And uh, I'm going to look at y'all and do it. Because I see things a little better when I'm looking at y'all. Because when I'm looking in the mirror, I can't see absolutely nothing. But when I'm looking at y'all, I can see some color. Some colors or whatever. So, uh... Yeah, so you know the, the the maintenance man on the way to uh because the the in the tub the um the ceiling has some cold water dripping from it and I'm like what is going on and you know um he finna come and check and see what's going on and this has happened before uh when we first first moved uh. The same exact thing happened, and see, back then when it happened, it was in the summertime, and they told me it was the uh, AC. They was like the the AC is making it uh drip in the bathroom above the tub, but this ain't the summertime. The AC, trust and believe me, is not on. We got the heater on, so um. Yeah, I got the, I got the heater on. Okay, yeah. So y'all, do I look like a raccoon or what? I look all right, y'all. I mean, if I look crazy, it's okay because it's a conversation piece, you know. Uh, one of the maintenance men, he 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 tell it like it is. He don't care. That's the married one, you know what I'm saying? He he. If I'm looking a hot mess, he gonna let me know I look a hot mess. You know what I'm saying? I done, I done brush my hair. I don't, I don't come and do nothing to my hair for nobody. But for the maintenance man, you know what I'm saying? I, I did a little brushing, brushed a little bit. So, uh, yeah. So I, uh, I told the maintenance man what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Once you let them know what if you're having a problem, they come and fix it right away you know what i'm saying so he said he on his way and you know i'm ready you know i'm i'm ready for you baby i mean i ain't calling it man baby you know he ain't he ain't mine you know what i'm saying i don't, I don't even know which one coming like i said it's four of them and it might be the married one coming if it's the married one coming it's cool me and him we always have a good time when we're together he he always tell me that first of all Y'all, let me tell y'all, why they be fighting about who gonna come and help me? They seriously be fighting over it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, 
I care about y'all all the same. It's no need to fight. If if it's a situation, if you want to see me, just text me and let me know that you want to see me. Let me know so I make sure that I am available and that I'm not busy and that I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know if you just want to come and Kool-Aid with me or whatever. You don't have to just come when I need something fixed or if I need something done. You can just, you know, come and check on me. And sometimes they do. They Sometimes they do come and check on me. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the, the love, you know what I'm saying? The Well, I'm not going to say love because I don't know if they love me. They, they ain't never told me they love me. I mean... Some of them have said that they do care about me, care deeply about me, and they be thinking about me all the time. Yeah, they have told me that, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's okay if they want to spend time with me and they're not working. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I've even told them, I said, if y'all let me know in advance when you're coming, I can make sure that there's something to eat for you because sometimes when people be at work they be so busy working they don't get a chance to eat so you know what i'm saying food will be ready especially if you come in around the time uh that my girls is eating you might as well sit down and then eat with us you know what i'm saying i, I don't mind that you know what i'm saying because they they're clean when when they come over they always wash their hands that's one of my rules when you come over to my home you wash your hands. It, it's always been that way, even before the, you know, the cooties and everything was going around. You have to wash your hands. You have to be clean, especially if you're going to be around my kids. You definitely got to be clean. So, you know what I'm saying? One of them is on the way. Which one? I do not know. Do I care which one? I don't. I don't. I enjoy all of them. Uh, even the married one. I enjoy having conversations with him. And, uh, you know, sometimes we talk about his wife. And sometimes we talk to his wife on the phone or whatever. Because, you know, sometimes it'd it, it be a situation going on with him and his wife. And, you know what I'm saying? I talk to her. And because I I know her through him. And I know him from him coming to, you know, work and do things and everything. And no, I don't be finding reasons for the maintenance men to come and do work. No, I ain't that type of person. Y'all, I seriously am trying to close this and cannot close it. Look, y'all, it, it won't close, y'all. What am I doing wrong? Look, I don't want to break this. And I really, 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 really like this uh, eyeliner, y'all. Y'all let me know if I look like a raccoon. I don't even care. Like I said, it'll be a conversation piece. Like if I if like I said, if the married one come, he gonna let me know, girl, you look a hot mess. If it be the other ones, they gonna they you, you know, they gonna they they nice. They gonna be like, What's going on with you? <laughs> so, you know, it, it doesn't bother me or whatever. Even if they was to say, Oh girl, you look a hot monkey. But I ain't tripping, but I really want to close. This is it's aggravating me that this thing will not close, and I don't want to just put it on there like this because I'm scared it's gonna dry up. And it, y'all don't know how long I've been looking for this. Like back in the day, I had some uh, eyeliner, and it was amazing. But when I went to go get another one, it, the store is always out of it, right? So, I finally found another eyeliner that I really, 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 really like. And I want it to last forever. So, I need this thing to close. I'm not understanding why it's not closing. Maybe one of my kids done put some food in there. No, it ain't nothing in there. I don't know, y'all. I don't, um, am I supposed to twist it on? Maybe that's what it is. Okay, I'm twisting. See y'all, I'm twisting. And it, it's it's not going down. It's not or is it going down? Y'all look at look at all this uh mascara I got all over my hands, y'all. I got stuff all over me. It's okay. It's alright. Um, uh, I had to give me a snack, y'all. I am so hungry. So if one of the maintenance men was to come and say, 
I'm going to ask them, have you had lunch? I always ask them that. And then if they say no, they ain't had lunch, I'm like, I'm hungry. You want to get something to eat? You know what I'm saying? Chi Chi, she always hungry, so she good. So, you know, they can go on break. Like, they can take their break with me, you know what I'm saying? We can sit outside and eat and watch Chi Chi play, you know what I'm saying? Chunky at school right now. Um, you know, Chi Chi, she, she enjoy the maintenance man too because she likes putting on a show for them, y'all. She will put on a show, honey. Well, I tell you, she go grab a doll, she go grab something. And she be like, look at this, watch this, you know, and they, they like to watch it. And, you know, they like to entertain Chi Chi. So, yeah, you guys, the maintenance man is on his way, and I'm ready. Um, I'm smelling good. I don't know if I'm looking good, because I can't see. Y'all let me know uh, what's going on. I feel like I got raccoon eyes, because like I said, I was just... Slapping the stuff on. Y'all saw me. I was just slapping the stuff on. Y'all know I can't see. So I'm just going by what I could feel. And I felt like I was putting it on right. But I probably did. I put some stuff on my lips. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. I know some men like natural females. They like females that don't have nothing on their face. I do understand that. But it's fun. I enjoy playing in it. And, and doing you know uh getting dolled up or whatever even if i know the person's not gonna like it like okay y'all know my friend the friend whatever he doesn't like when i do all this he likes for me just to look plain jane you know what i'm saying he don't want nothing on me he be okay with some lotion <laughs> but that's it you know so i don't get to do all of this for my friend friend because he don't like that kind of stuff. He just like me to be plain Jane. So I got to do this stuff for me. It's it's fun for me. And then y'all know what, what really just irked my brain is when my nurse asked me, she said, why do you wear black people makeup? Mmm. I said, what do you mean? She's like, why do you wear black people makeup? I was like, because I'm black. And she was like, she was like, no. She was like, no, you're not. I was like, I am. I was like, I I just, I'm just a almondy caramel, toasted almondy caramel color, you know what I'm saying? I said, but I am black. And she don't believe me, y'all. She, I don't know why. I don't know why people don't ever believe that, but I am, y'all. I am black, okay? And so, yeah, when when she would be over, I would put uh, makeup on, like makeup, makeup on, you know, really get the print in some makeup. And she doesn't wear makeup at all, at all. I don't even think she wear a lotion. So, um... I was putting the makeup on and everything, and she was just like looking at me so crazy. And she was like, That's black people makeup. I was like, I'm black, okay? She was like, She was like, No, you're not. I was like, I am. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's not what she meant to say. Maybe she meant to say, I don't know, y'all. I like, me and her, we were very, very, very different. We're, we're different, but we're the same. You know what I mean? She's black, and I'm black. Um, she, she, she's like um, probably three shades darker than I am, but we're both black, you know. And she has natural hair. My hair is natural. And you guys, when she does my hair, y'all love the way she does my hair. I love the way she does my hair. Uh, speaking of her, okay, that's a whole nother subject. That, that's a whole nother subject, yeah. But, yeah. What was that talking about? The maintenance man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for him. I'm excited about seeing him. Um, Y'all know uh, the mask thing, Texas had opened up and they said it's not a requirement anymore. 
for people to wear a mask. My maintenance men, they still wear masks. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate that, that they still wear masks because I don't know who place they done been in and what's in that person place and what they got, or, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate them still wearing their mask and everything. And, um, you know, even before all this happened, before the coolies was going around and my maintenance men, they weren't wearing masks in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? They, I saw how they, the natural them, the way they, they look naturally without the mask and everything. And, you know, I know with them wearing those masks and they're working so hard doing what they do, I know that it could be hard for them. And I know that they probably get hot because now they're to the point to where they're wearing a, uh, wearing a mask, they're, they're wearing gloves, they're wearing uh, just all kind of protective gear, trying to protect the, themselves and... I just, I want them to protect themselves because I, by them being protective, they're protecting me and my family when they're coming over here and coming from doing whatever they were doing. And y'all yeah, know, like I have a hardwood floor or whatever. And I know some people, they're getting carpets installed. And they asked me, the maintenance man, he asked me, he's like, you want carpet? I was like, nah. Like at first, at first, in the beginning, I did want carpet because I enjoy carpet. Because you know, you can do so many things on carpet. You can take a nap on some carpet. You know what I'm saying? Carpet is soft, depending on what kind of carpet you get. So, you know, in the beginning, yes, I did want carpet. But now, I'm looking at it, and my kids, they spill stuff. It's easier to clean a wood floor you know what i'm saying you just wipe it up spray it mop it and it's good with a carpet it's not that simple you guys it's not that simple to clean carpet like uh at our old place we had a carpet cleaner and that thing it was my favorite and i used to use that thing to um clean clean the garbage you know what i'm saying but it was heavy it was super duper heavy you know what i'm saying because it was one of them expensive kind you know and now that my body is getting weaker i can't uh use carpet cleaners or whatever because it's too heavy for me to move i'm too weak to move a carpet cleaner and see i what i used to do even back then when it was hard for me to do it i would get one of my homeboys they'll come over and clean my carpets for me oh mg y'all could tell y'all some story times about that but yeah, so now there's no carpet. I have a rug that needs to be cleaned. Um, but you know, it can be cleaned easily by vacuuming and using a uh, carpet cleaning spray. And that is what I've been trying to get uh, from Dollar Tree. I've been seeing everybody haul that uh, carpet cleaning spray and I really, 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 really been looking for it. And see, my store, they have the carpet cleaning spray, but it's not the foam. I want the foam. My store, they have the regular, uh, you know, t -t -t spray or whatever. I don't want that one. I want the foam one because uh, I feel like that will work better because y'all say all y'all do is spray it and then y'all vacuum it up and the carpet is clean. So, yeah, that's what I want. Um, okay, y'all remember back in the day when I used to... Uh, make a dollar tree wish list y'all i miss doing that because it was fun for me to see my list and see myself crossing things off on my list that that was a great feeling for me and so now like yeah i still make a list but when i go to the store y'all I can't see nothing so whatever i have written down i can't see it so i don't get the things on my list i forget you know what i'm saying because i can't see the list so my nurse when she goes to dollar tree with me she can read the list you know what i'm saying and that helps out or whatever but um 
if I don't have somebody with me, like a friend, a family member, or somebody going inside a Dollar Tree with me, I cannot see. I, I hear it. Like, yeah, I have the list with me now. And that, 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 here's the thing. Some of the workers inside a Dollar Tree, I can give them the list and they go get the things for me. And I really, 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 really appreciate that. I, I really do. Because they don't have to do that. But, you know, sometimes they be like, uh, they they finna clock out. They finna get off work. And they just finna help me. You know, so I won't have to do it. <laughs> and I really, really appreciate that. Because that's not part of their job. They don't get paid to do that. At any other stores, not not even just Dollar Tree, any stores that I go shopping at, when people help me stop doing their job to help me, I am very grateful and I appreciate that so much because it really it really helps. It really really do help. And um, yeah, so I who was I talking to earlier and they was like telling me, oh yeah, I was talking to my friend earlier and he was telling me that if if I wanted to take one of my family members and have them to help me to do everything that I can't do, he would pay them to do it. And I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, I don't know about that. He was like, yeah. He said like, it could uh it'll be like a job for them. He was like if he was like if you have a family member or a friend who is looking for a job I will pay them to help you. I was like, why? And he was like, because he said, I can't do it. He said, I'm I'm always at work. And I was like, yeah. I said, but it's okay. And I said, like, you don't have to do that. He's like, I know I don't have to do that. He said, but I want to do that. So I'm in my mind thinking about who do I know that need a job? Everybody I know, they got jobs. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess I can ask people, do they want a part-time job? <laughs> and I can let them know, you know what I'm saying, that he is willing to do. Y'all, I'm supposed to be sitting here getting ready for the maintenance, man. Y'all done got me started talking. I forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. And I got to make sure that your girl is ready when he comes out knocking at the door. First of all, the maintenance man, you know they got a key. So, you know, he if he wanted to, he could just walk in like Chi Chi be saying, I be leaving the door open. Nah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I seriously, I don't. I locked the door. But Chi Chi, y'all know she always singing that song to my friend or whatever. And Chi Chi is crazy, y'all. The stuff that this... Whoo, y'all. Mm. Mm. Let me let me talk to y'all later. Let me catch y'all later. Because y'all, I gotta make sure I gotta make shout sure things is ready for when he comes a knocking, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm ready, but I gotta make sure I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? I I gotta go drink me some water because I feel myself getting dehydrated. I feel like Cause I've been talking so much to y'all, I feel like my throat is dry, and I need to go. Um, I need to go drink me some water so I can be hydrated, you know. Just in case, you know, he wanna kiss these lips, you know what I'm saying? He wanna tug me down, you know. You want your mouth to be ready, you know what I'm saying? Okay, first of all, no, I'm not gonna be kissing everybody. I don't do that. I don't kiss on everybody. Just people I know. <laughs> but yeah, um. I need to go drink me some water. Uh, what? I need to eat something, you guys. I ate lunch, but um, that's the worst thing ever is for when you be having a good time with somebody and all of a sudden your stomach get to growling. That is the worst thing ever. So I need to, uh, I need to eat me something. I need to eat me something else because I already had lunch. So I need to, yeah, eat me something to make sure my stomach don't be growling. I need to drink me some water so I know that I'm hydrated and so that <clears throat> my throat won't uh, get the cracker lagging. <laughs> and uh, 
Yeah, I need to make sure. Okay, yeah, I smell good and everything. But um, I got to make sure my lips are moisturized because y'all know my lips be dry. <laughs> y'all know I got dry lips or whatever. So I got to make sure I um, put some moisturizer on my lips just in case he won't. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, y'all, Chi Chi, she's taking a nap, y'all. She's taking a good old nap right now, which is good. Because by her taking a nap, that means she's going to be in a good mood. You know, when you take a nap, you be in a good mood. You know what? I probably should have took a nap since Chi Chi was taking a nap. But nah, <laughs> nah, I had to get ready. No time for a nap. Y'all. Let me, y'all, let me talk to y'all later, for real, for real. Because, like I said, I got to make sure I'm, I'm ready. Like, and, you know, I just, like, the maintenance men, they are just my friends. Them just my buddies, you know what I'm saying? They just my homies. That's, that, that's it. That's, that's all it is. It, it's nothing more than. You know what I'm saying? We 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 chatted up when we we're together, but that's that's it. You know what I'm saying? It it's nothing less, nothing more. Um what was I supposed to tell y'all? It was something I was supposed to tell y'all. Mm, I was supposed to tell y'all about something can't remember. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let me let y'all go because if I keep on talking to y'all, I'm going to keep talking to y'all. And it's just going to keep going and going and going. And then next thing you know, he's going to be knocking on the door and it's gonna, that's going to frazzle me or whatever. And y'all know I got anxiety and yeah, I don't want, want that to happen. Um, Chunky is about to get out of school, so I got to make sure things are ready for Chunky when she gets out of school because, you know, we got to make sure she got... Oh, yeah, I got to stop talking to y'all. I got to stop. Y'all, I'm going to catch y'all later, okay? Y'all know I'm going to let y'all know what happened. If something happened, nothing probably going to happen. It probably just going to be regular old us Kool-Aid together. But I'm just saying, if something do happen, y'all know I'm going to let